All right, this video, um, we're going to look at using our planisphere to observe uh, the position of various key stars and constellations in the night sky at different times of the year. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your planisphere and you're going to rotate it um, so that the 12 is going to be pointing at January 1st, okay, which is approximately uh, right there. Okay? And we're going to look at some winter stars that you can observe uh, in this part uh, of the world. Uh, we're in southwestern Ontario and um, you can go out into the night sky and you can hold this above your head. Okay? Now when you hold it above your head uh, in this way, uh, you're going to be facing the southern horizon. So just imagine if you took this and you tipped it up above your head and you were facing the northern sky, sorry, the southern sky, this is what you're going to see at night. Now if you want to see something in the eastern sky, then what you would do is you would turn and you would face the eastern sky and you would rotate this as follows uh, so that the eastern horizon is now on the bottom of your planisphere and your body's actually phys physically facing the eastern horizon, okay? But for this video, we're going to assume that we're always going to be facing the southern horizon and we're going to look at the key, the key stars that are there, okay? The first thing you're going to do is find Sirius, okay? So in the night sky, you're going to find Sirius near the bottom right here, okay? It's this big star, it's a big bright star. It's part of the Canis Major constellation, okay? So take your um, pen or pencil and give that a number one and, you know, highlight Sirius uh, there, okay? Uh, above and slightly to the right, you're gonna find another uh, major star called um, called Capella. It's in the constellation Auriga. So you want to number that one number two and highlight it, highlight it blue. Uh, to the, just to the right uh, of Canis Major, co closer to the western horizon, you're going to find the constellation Orion. Uh, and you can see you're kind of a bow uh, shape there. Uh, Orion is a, is a hunter. Um, and there are two major stars in Horizon that Orion that we're going to point out here. The third one is called Rigel, right there, and you want to give that one a number three and highlight it. And then near the shoulder of Orion is another star right here. You want to highlight it and give it a, a, a number five. That's called uh, Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse. Okay, a little bit difficult to see on the on the video here. Okay, but if you follow along with your own uh, star chart, you should be okay. Okay, now up, uh, up to the top and right of uh, Betelgeuse, uh, or you know, fi find the bow, and just above the bow of Orion, you're going to find uh, Taurus. Okay, uh, there's the, the uh, horns of Taurus, and one of the major um, stars that are in Taurus, a very bright star, is uh, Aldebaran. Aldebaran. So you want to call that one number six and write in Aldebaran after you've highlighted that particular star. So that's another major winter star. Okay, there's a whole bunch of them, of course, in the night sky, but we're just going to look at some of them. Okay, uh, another one, if you go left towards the eastern horizon, uh, just above um, uh, Canis Minor, you're going to find uh, Gemini. And you can see here there's there are those uh, twins. And the head of the twin on the left is Pollux, that's a major star, and the star to the right of that is Castor. So you can highlight those two major stars. And I believe I skipped over this one right here, um, Canis Minor, um, which is just above and to the left of Sirius. You're going to find another major constellation and the uh, star that's there's a big bright star that is Procyon and so you can uh, number that one number four and highlight it and whatnot and then uh, so those are some major some major stars now if you look way up here closer to the northern horizon so that means if you were using this and you held your head uh, straight up above and maybe arch your head a little bit you're going to find Polaris way up here and it's in the Ursa Minor um, constellation as well. So this is our, our, north, our north star uh, right here. Okay. Now what I want you to do is you're going to rotate now your 
um, planisphere to find some summer stars. So we're going to rotate it as follows, like this. And you can see here, as we rotate it, notice the stars right here. What direction are they going? They're going from east to west. And you want to keep rotating it until we hit, oh, we're going to hit probably, let's see here. You want to rotate until it gets to June, I don't know, middle of June, June 15th right there. And there's some summer stars uh, that we want to look at there. Um, there's not a whole bunch I want to point out, but there's a few, okay? So again, there's Polaris right there. That's our north star. So below that, so again, we're facing the southern horizon. Um, so right here, we got some, some stars that we want to look at. So just uh, below, according to our, our map here, you've got uh, Ursa Major and Polar Polaris. And the star that you want to look at there, uh, number 11, is in the constellation Lyra. And this big, bright star that's there is called Vega. Um, so you want to highlight that one. Uh, to the top and left, closer toward the northern horizon, so further above your head, uh, you're going to find a constellation called Cygnus and a bright star that's there is called Deneb. Uh, so you want to highlight that one. Uh, towards the southern horizon, towards the area where you're facing, and to the little bit, little bit left, you're going to find a, uh, a constellation uh, that's called, um, uh, let's see here, Aquila. And a major star that's there is called Altair. And so you can highlight that one. That's another bright star that you're going to see in the summer sky. And towards the bottom of the horizon, you know, the southern horizon, which was, which is, you know, the bottom of your planisphere here, you're going to find another major constellation called Scorpion, Scorpius. Another major uh, constellation you're going to find here is called uh, Scorpius. And a big bright star that's there is called uh, Antares. And you can highlight that one. So these are some stars that you can see in the summer sky. Obviously, there's other ones. There's other major constellations that you can see in this window right now. Uh, but these are some major ones that would be worth uh, kind of identifying because they're, they tend to be uh, fairly bright. And they're, they often are become uh, for... People who will watch stars and look for stars, you know, kind of major signposts to kind of orient yourself in the star sky. So um, if you have to watch this video again, go ahead and highlight all these major stars um, uh, along the way. Okay. And again, if you wanted to check, um, you know, what some stars are like in the spring, you can rotate this, you know, let's, again, assuming that you're facing the, the southern sky, you know, we got this rotated to, you know, the beginning of October. Now we can see some uh, some other constellation patterns that are there, and you can identify them as as you orient yourself as you're looking above. Okay, so have some fun with that, and um, take care. Bye.